Mine are mine. Vicky, I'm the Deputy Head of the African Experience. Um, we're out on our Giraffe Lodge LARPA balcony um, overlooking our 100 acre um, African Experience. So we've got a couple of our guys here. We've got some red lettre and an ostrich. Um, unfortunately, the giraffes decided they were going to have a lazy day and they're right over in the bottom part of our um, reserve out here. Um, uh, yeah, so we have um, three lettre out here at the moment. We have a male and a, a female. Um, and then we also have one of our male ostrich. We have five ostrich in total out here. They're all male. Um, three of them are chicks from two years ago. Um, and their dad's out here as well. Um, so yeah, he's one of the chicks that we have here. Um, I've just put out some... Um, deer nuts that is what they're called um so yeah they they'll just forage on them for for a while uh the red lecture we've got another little male sneaking into shot at the moment um and he'll carry on you can don't know if you guys can see but the the one male's just saying this is my food get away um and yeah we have so out here we have over 500 animals um, ranging from tiny little hog deer all the way up to our giraffes and then in the summer our rhino, black rhino join us out here as well. They're currently behind the camera at the moment in their winter paddock just while it dries up a bit more out here. Uh, we've got a question, someone who wants to know a bit more about what a lechway is. Uh, so a lechway is an antelope. Um, our guys here are red lechway. Um, there are several different species or subspecies of, of lechwe. Our guys here are the red lechwe. So the males have uh, the nice impressive horns and the females don't have horns. Um, but yeah, so they're a, an antelope species. Um, they are the second most aquatic antelope species after the Sitatunga. Um, and they're from Africa. Um, so you quite often find them in marshy areas and around water. They're weighed. Uh, last summer we saw some of the big males actually swimming in our watering hole, um, but they'll wade through kind of up to their bellies, deep in water without any problems. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful day. So everything's kind of just resting and taking in the sun. Uh, the giraffes are, um, you probably can't see them, but they're right down over in the far corner down there. They're all sitting down, sunning themselves. They're having a lazy day today. They came back for breakfast and they haven't really moved since then. Um, so yeah, it took me an hour to get them out of their sand yard where we feed them in the morning and uh, they haven't gone very far. So yeah, they're right over in the bottom corner down there um, you can kind of see the fence line right at the bottom they're kind of little dots in the background down there uh, we have nine of them all together so we have a, a a bit of a unique situation with our giraffe so we have nine fr three of them are hybrid um, castrated males so kind of a bachelor group of boys um, and they live with our breeding herd of Rothschild giraffes or Nubian giraffes um, and we have uh, one breeding male, two breeding females and then their free offspring. Emma would like to know how old does a giraffe get? Hello Emma, um, they get to around about mid to late 20s is a good age for them in captivity in the wild. Um, kind of the same sort of age. I think the oldest one when he passed away, not here but in captivity in the wild, was about 36, I believe. Uh, Anna would like to 
know if we have zebras and a bit more about our zebras. Yep, hi Anna, we have four zebras here. We have um, their Chapman zebras, which are a subspecies of the plain zebra. And um, they are here, they are kind of over there somewhere in the water and how they might make an appearance when they realise that there's food up here. Um, so we have one male and three females. We are hoping to have baby zebras shortly. Um, and uh, we, we haven't confirmed any are pregnant, but we have seen some mating, so maybe. Um, we have our female, our male is called Cumin. Um, and then our females are Sophie, Gwendolyn and Harriet. Um, so yeah, they're out here somewhere. Um, our oldest one is Sophie. She's in her 20s. Uh, B and Isabella would like to know how long it takes for food to travel down a giraffe's very long neck. Um, B and Isabella, uh, it probably takes a couple of seconds. Um, they have very good muscles in their necks and sometimes when you're up close to them you can actually see them so they chew the cud like a cow does so they'll they'll eat as much as they can and then it sits in their first stomach because they have four stomachs and then when they're when they're at rest they'll start they'll kind of burp it back up and then chew it again until it's at the right consistency to then go into their second stomach but that you can literally see it go up and then back down um which is Horrible and really weird to look at. <laughs> uh, Poppy would like to know how long do giraffes sleep for? Um, Poppy, this is my favourite question because I love talking about giraffe sleeping. They have the same four sleep patterns, the stages that we have. So they have the, uh, the REM sleep, the rapid eye movement sleep. And to have that REM sleep, they need around about 45 minutes a day um for that in the in the 24 hour period um they normally have that in kind of five minute bursts throughout the throughout the evening um and the only way they can get that sleep is they sit down on the floor and then they bring their heads around onto their bums um we see it um every now and again with our guys and you can see them going through the stages when we watch them on our cameras we have in the house um, that you can see, yeah, they, they slowly bring their heads round and then they that's it. And they, it's probably a minute or two and then they wake back up and then they carry on with what they were doing before they went to sleep. But yeah, they only need about 45 minutes of sleep a night. Uh, they have a question to say, if you had to pick one giraffe from Port Lim to make a children's book about, which one would you choose and what would you call your book? <laughs> Uh, it would have to be Bacora, um, and because uh, he is just very special. Um, I don't know what I would call it. Um, that's a hard. Uh, that's a hard one. But yeah, I, it would definitely have to be about Bacora, because um, he's just a little bit special. <laughs> Martha would like to know how tall do giraffes get, and Zoe would like to know how fast can they run. Okay, um, so they get about um, what our oldest, one of our big boys, the castrated males, he's about 19 and a half foot. So that's quite tall for a giraffe. Um, and they probably, uh, very, very big males get to about 20 foot. Otherwise, they kind of sit around the 16 to 18 feet tall. And how fast do they run? It's a roundabout. And I'm not, I, I now feel like if I'm saying this, it's going to be wrong. I, I'm, I'm led to believe it's around about 60 miles per hour if they wanted to. But I might be wrong on that because uh, I, it's completely gone from my head. <laughs> Poppy would like to know the names of all of our giraffe. Okay, Poppy, we have um, our three big boys. We have Killian, Satanta and Sebastian. Um, and they're the really tall boys that we have, the castrated males. And then our breeding herd is Valentino is our breeding male. Then we have Luna and Liana, our breeding females. And then we have Mweze, Bakora and Kianga. And Kianga's our youngest one. She's only uh, nearly two. Uh, Emma would like to know what your favourite thing about working here is. Um, 
So Emma, uh, I think by the view you can see how amazing it is and how much space we have. Um, in the summer it is absolutely wonderful out here. Um, this is kind of like the upside of the, the perks of the job is that we have an amazing 100 acres where all our animals roam free and um, in the summer it is beautiful. In the winter however it's not so nice and it's very muddy. We have lots of uh, standing water. So the other week when it was pouring with rain all day, uh, we were kind of knee deep in mud and water. So that's the downside of such a beautiful paddock we have. And obviously just working with all of our amazing animals that we have here. Jessica aged eight would like to know if all the giraffes have different patterns. So Jessica, they all have different patterns. It's like our fingerprints. So each giraffe has unique patterns to them. them. Um, so Bakora and Liana, they are mum and son. They have slightly different patterns, but they're kind of almost the same. But every, yeah, every pattern to a giraffe is unique. The same as the zebra. Every zebra has a unique stripe pattern as well. lady who was supposed to be getting married with us today called Sophie French who would like a little shout out she was supposed to be having a giraffe safari today but sadly she can't uh hello Sophie um sorry you can't be with us to have your giraffe safari and meet our giraffes up close um it is a shame that they're being lazy today and that they're the other side of the African experience but I hope you have a wonderful day um I think I did read earlier maybe that you had a glass of champagne in the garden somewhere so um cheers uh, Suzanne would like to know what noise a giraffe makes um so giraffes normally you can't hear it it's above our frequency but we were you we do hear um on quite a regular basis um they make like a grumbling noise um I can't do it I wouldn't be I wouldn't do it justice um to make it and normally it's our big boys doing it um, I've also heard them making little squeaky noises and um, twice now and no one else believes me but I've also heard one neigh like a horse um, but I'm the only one that's heard it and I'm pretty sure no one else believes that I've ever heard that um, but yeah normally we hear a grumble and there has been some studies that show that they make a humming noise but we've never heard that I think it's definitely above our frequency or below depending on what noise it is. Lynn would like to know where is Gary and is he okay? <laughs> so um, for those that don't know Gary is Bakora. Um, Bakora is his real name. Uh, we all just call him Gary. It's his little nickname. Um, he is absolutely fine. He is doing really well. Um, he is somewhere down on the bottom with the rest of the giraffes. Um, probably looking at a tree knowing Gary. <laughs> Ethan age six would like to know how much does a giraffe eat? How much does a giraffe eat? So our guys here will eat, um, they have five, uh, three kilograms of uh, commercially made pellet. So a bit the same like what the, the lechwe are eating, but a um, made for browsing animals. So the giraffes eat leaves, which is called browse, and they have a special pellet. They also have um, around about, um, at the moment, about 60 kilograms of lucerne a day, which is like a hay, but it's made from clover fields. And then they have as much branches as they want to eat. So when they're out here, you can see all the trees. They'll just um, make their way through them through the summer and um, there'll be no leaves left by the time they finish. So they eat quite a lot. <laughs> uh, Billy May, aged four, would just like you to say hello. Hello, Billy May. I hope you're having a good day and you're not getting too bored stuck inside. Uh, and Daniel has said, all the animals are behind us. Can we move? So shall we shuffle them? Yes. We'll try and not get my face in uh, just a close up of my left ear. Is that better? Can you see them now? You can see a few. I could even try and uh, I don't know if you'll see them but if I tilt the camera that way the giraffes are the tiny little dots right in the corner sat down I don't know if anyone can see them down there you can just make out their long necks 
down there. Uh, a few people have asked if the animals are behaving any differently now that there are no visitors. Um, so the animals seem to be a lot more relaxed now there's not big trucks coming round every 15 minutes to half an hour. Um, even our little black black lady um, was sat up here the other day, you very rarely see her, but everything just seems a lot more relaxed. But I also think that um, the sunshine is helping that situation quite a lot. Because why would you not just want to sit in the middle of the road in the sun? Um, nothing's really changed behaviours. They all still kind of do the same things that they did before. Um, just, yeah, everything seems a little bit more chilled out. And a few people have pointed out that the stream is mislabeled as elephants. Just let them know that it's not elephants. It's just the wrong label. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, it's the wrong label. There's no elephants today. Um, yeah, we're out on the African experience. It's just a, the wrong label was put on. Uh, can you say hello to Jaden? Hello, Jaden. Hello, Graham. I hope you're having a nice day, enjoying the sun in your garden. Uh, is there any more questions that you have? Um, anything you'd like to know? We um, we have lots of different species out here, so if anyone wants to know How anything, many species? Um, there's eleven species in total out here. I can reel them off for you quickly. Uh, so we have. I have to do it on my hands because um, I'll miss one otherwise. Uh, we have the red lechwe, the ostrich, the giraffes, the um, zebra. We have hog deer, we have axis deer, we have one roan antelope, we have one Congo buffalo, we have a black buck um, out here, we have, I feel like I've missed something, eland, um, we have 34 eland out here, they're down in the middle, uh, we have wildebeest, And I think that is it, but I now have lost count of how many I've got. I think that's it. <laughs> one, I always miss one out. And then later on I'll be like, oh yeah, of course it's that. Uh, oh, the bloodsbok. We have bloodsbok. Two bloodsbok out here somewhere. Um, where? Who knows? Um, they could be hiding somewhere. Andy Bennett would like to know if the rhinos are going to be out in the summer. Uh, yeah, so the rhinos are behind the camera um, in their winter paddock at the moment. We're just kind of, because we've had so much rain recently, it was very, very wet out here. It's dried up a lot with all this beautiful weather we've had, um, but it's still a bit soft and squishy in places. And um, a rhino um, being over a thousand kilograms, makes that soft and squishy bit a little bit too much for them so they're currently enjoying themselves um behind the camera in their winter paddock they're together um all the time they're out and about um all at the moment 24 7 um and yeah when it dries up and um a little bit more then they might come out here for us as well billy may would like to know how big a giraffe's ears are how big a giraffe's ears are. Oh. And if we have any baby rhinos. Um, their ears are probably about that sort of size, but I I couldn't tell you how big that was. Um, and at the moment we don't have any baby rhinos. Um, our two that we have out here are a male and a female, and they're uh, four and five. So no babies as yet for us. Carmela would like to know if the animals are out here all year. Yeah, so um, everything that's out here now is out here most of the year. The only thing that comes off in the winter are the, zebra, uh, are the giraffes and the rhinos, and that's just because it gets a bit too wet and soggy out here. Um, but everything else stays out uh, throughout the, the whole year. We have several sheds dotted around the place that they can go in if the weather gets really terrible out here, um, which sometimes it does um, with blowing a gale and wind and rain. Poppy would like to know what are your giraffe's teeth like? So giraffe have um, weird teeth. So they only have teeth on the bottom at the front. They don't have them on the top. They use the top bit 
that kind of their gum is like a hard plate that they use um, for kind of use it as like a stop um, when they're chewing off bark off of branches kind of yeah a bit like that um, and then at the back they have all their molars and premolars like we have and then there's a gap in between the two a large gap you can probably fit I could probably fit my hand between the, the front teeth and the back teeth um, but yeah none no teeth on the top at the front uh, can you say happy eighth birthday to Isabella happy happy birthday Isabella and Beth would like to know if giraffes get married and fall in love <laughs> um, giraffes don't get married um, we put them together so um, our giraffes are part of a breeding program and we get recommendation recommendations on whether we should breed from them or not breed from them and which ones to breed so we were given uh, Valentino, Luna and Liana and they became a trio um, and he breeds from both of them he seems to prefer to hang about and like Le Luna rather than Liana but he will still breed with Liana he's not fussy he just I think he just likes Luna a little bit more than uh, Liana and Luna and Liana are sisters or half sisters um, as well so that's quite a nice kind of relationship Claire would like to know do you need to groom the giraffes um, so Claire we don't groom the giraffes we leave them to them we can if we need to um, brush them and get out if they're really bad um, but they have so they molt like any other animal so if they get really bad we will just give them a, a scrub um, and it seems to be okay um, and then we will sometimes uh, we're in the process of getting them used so that we can pick their feet up and and clean them and and make sure that they're nice and nice and clean and and how they should be how they should look um, and stuff like that we try to do um, all of our stuff conscious rather than having to sedate a giraffe because it's very um, difficult to do it's it's quite a um, risky procedure so the more we can do with them awake and standing and fully conscious um, the better for us uh, and two more questions yep Steph would like to know how old Valentino is yep uh, so Valentino is eight he came from us to us from Painton Zoo um, so he'll be nine this year I believe um, and yeah he came from Painton when he arrived and Claire would like to know do you need to trim their hooves um, so Claire we are we haven't trimmed any hooves um, but we are just looking at them just to make sure that there's not a problem um, if we need to then we will um, we're kind of in a, a bit of a unique situation because they have a hundred acres to roam around um, it's lots of different substrates they constantly so when they're out here in the summer they kind of do laps of the place apart from today where they've not moved very much um, so they tend to do quite a lot of walking and they do wear their own hooves down themselves so it's a long slow process um, at the moment two maybe three might let me look at their their hooves um, the rest are kind of like what you're doing um, so we are just, yeah, it's just a slow process to get through it. Uh, and then if you need to let people know how they can support the animals. Yep, so um, thank you for listening and tuning in today. Um, you can support us here um, on the African Experience. You can actually buy us a care package for our giraffes. Um, if you go head to our website, um, it's a daily care package for um, one giraffe. Um, so, yeah please feel free to head over and um, have a look at that and um, yeah enjoy the beautiful weather before you go will you say hello to B? yep uh, hello B. Um, hope you're enjoying the the time off time off in this lovely weather even though you can't go out perfect
and he st they stayed like most I mean they, they've had like Oh. I thought you said we need to get that truck door done and I was like, what door? <laughs> oh, it's so nice, it's ridiculous. Okay. 